the Los Angeles River is a combination of the results of natural history and interaction with human beings. Many people were starting to come in and live in the river's floodplain and there were floods in the teens and the, it was primarily 19, around 1913 and 1938 when the floods were very bad and there was a loss of life and a lot of property damage and decisions were made by the leaders of the time in the city and the county um, and with the federal government through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that they should channelize the river in order to allow people to live safely within its floodplain. Flood risk management was the overriding concern at the time. When the channel was first designed and built, the best way to move water through the city was along a concrete channel. Why? Because it went through the city quickly and kept the city as safe as possible from the effects of flooding. You know what? Uh, the flood control, it, it was Army Corps when they built it in the 30s, it was great. Uh, they, they, their, their purpose worked great. They got the water from point A down to point B in a safe manner. It, you know, it controlled it and it, was, it, was, it definitely worked great. No, no question about that. But I think now it's the time that we need to sort of revisit this, uh, you know, th this, this flood control channel. In the intervening years, we have learned a lot. There is very little technology today that is the same as it was back in 1940. Environmental concerns over the LA River have grown over the years. The river was never in any danger of losing its protection. The Army Corps of Engineers always maintained protection over the river under the Clean Water Act. Court decisions introduced new terms to the equation. Terms like navigable, traditionally navigable, and non-navigable that had to be sorted out. Once those decisions were made, the Corps went to work with our partners to make sure we met our responsibilities under the Clean Water Act and published joint guidance with the EPA. In its primary mission, the LA River Flood Control Channel has succeeded admirably. However, as a river, some work remains. If we educate people now, and instead of uh, always trying to keep them out, that prevents several things. One, or actually it does several things. One, it actually gets people to know that they have a, a place to recreate, to use, in their, you know, to have in their backyards and to be able to use it, as opposed to driving hours to get to a river. Uh, this is a nice place for them to just, hey, you know what, let's just take a walk. In some areas where, you know, we see people fishing as recreation, that is a great, well, you know, pastime that when, even when I was growing up. So people, if people can still do that with, uh, with young kids, with their young kid kids, and it's not that far from home, that, that gives sort of a little bit more of a ownership of the river and they respect it. That also prevents from people from misusing the river, either from dumping trash, from dumping their chemicals or their oil, something that is really common around these areas, unfortunately. It is important to remember the majority of the river is designed to get water through and out of Los Angeles as quickly as possible. According to city and county swift water rescue teams, more than 100 people each year are rescued from the Los Angeles River and an average of six die because they were in the river when they shouldn't have been. The Los Angeles River is a source of life and it is the center from which the city and county of Los Angeles have grown. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been working together with city, county and state governments along with non-governmental agencies to work on a master plan for the revitalization of the LA River. The Los Angeles River Revitalization Master Plan has been moving forward since its inception nearly a decade ago. It may not happen while I'm the district commander, but my staff and I continue to work every day to realize the goals of that plan. So what this plan does is it builds upon long-standing efforts of local nonprofits and also the County of Los Angeles who did a master plan in 1996. So it supports all of those efforts and then expands beyond them looking at how we can actually change the river's concrete channel and we can extend greening, habitat connections, and community revitalization amenities into the neighborhoods along the river. Things are looking up for this iconic landmark. As in life, the smallest steps are often the most significant. In the summer of 2011, the Corps was part of a truly historic milestone in the life of the LA River. One of the other opportunities that we had along the river is to run the Paddle the LA River program, which was our pilot program, and which took place this summer. Uh, we were asked uh, to lead the project along with seven uh, with the, uh, other partners with us, and that included MRCA, because we had to have a, a, some, a ranger on each of our rides. Uh, you know what? The river is fun. Uh, it, it is exciting, and I have uh, personally enjoyed it uh, doing this uh, this pilot program, Paddle the LA River. 
and it was one of the best times that I've actually had and I, right now that it's over, I actually miss it. My Fridays and Saturdays being out there. This is not the Corps of Engineers River. This is the Los Angeles River. This is your river. If it matters to you, we invite you to contact your local representatives. We also invite you to join in the effort to transform this from a simple concrete channel to a place where families can enjoy a day in the park. Together, we share the responsibility to provide the best possible experience for residents and visitors here. It's your river. Get involved. For the Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Daniel J. Calderon.